this is a Democrat, a congressional Democrat, and he's not a happy guy. Actually, what he is is scared witless, which is why he's in full pretzel mode right at the moment. Think it's easy trying to move forward while you're constantly looking over your shoulder? To take the high ground without leaving any footprints or even fingerprints? It's not easy. And why is this Democrat, uh, let's call him Quimbley, Quimbley D. Democrat. Why is Quimbley D. Democrat constantly looking over his shoulder? He's looking for the Republican attack machine. And he doesn't want to give the attack machine anything they can use against him. His vote on this health care bill, for instance. He wants this health care bill to pass. It's not a great bill, but he figures it's certainly a lot better than not having a bill. So he wants it to pass. He just doesn't want anyone to know he's voting for it. That makes things complicated. That gets him trying all these fancy procedural loop-de-loops to try to pass the bill without ever voting for certain parts of the bill or for certain versions of the bill. Can't give them anything to use against me, Quimbley's thinking to himself, which is exactly the way his father used to think, and his father's father, too, back when they were in Congress. In fact, for as long as he can remember, there have been generations of Democrats looking over their shoulders, worried sick that they might give the Republican attack machine some new ammunition. Whether uh, Karl Rove was running the thing, or Lee Atwater, or James Baker, or even way back to Nixon's guy, Murray Chotner. Can't give him anything to use against us, the Democrats always tell themselves. Not a tank ride, or a surfboard, or a poorly chosen word, or a complex vote. Nothing that could be turned into a soundbite or a TV ad. Years and years of it, and the Republicans are so deep inside Quimbley's head that he can't say anything or do anything without first thinking, what can they do with this? Without always thinking, what can they do with this? Except that it almost doesn't matter. If he doesn't give them something they can use against him, they'll find something they can use against him. And if they can't find something, they'll invent something. They're very resourceful that way. But Quimbley, D. Democrat, is too nervous to notice.